about sin massacre video where selection is the name of the game don't you know it baby it's the store where everybody knows your name that's my Watching the movies and talking about them too. We got so many favorites and they're waiting here for you. We got movies for kids, but don't be mad because we also got the movies meant, 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 meant for mommies and dads. Come on down. This is a massacre video. Come on down. We're right next to Caldor. It came from somewhere else, a perplexing package of panic, a chilling chest containing creepy collectibles and ghoulish goodies. I don't know where it came from, I just got it in the mail. Loot Fright, filled with fiendish features, four more frightening finds, each valued at over $50. This month's crate is Love Sucks. A mystifying mystery box filled with loving lunacy for Chucky connoisseurs, macabre monsters, and those devoted to Dracula on sale until January 15th. Visit the link in the description and grab your spine-chilling subscription with one, three, or six Loot Frights. Marvel at the mystery. Loot Fright will surprise and shock you. Grab yours today at LootCrate.com slash Cinemassacre, enter the code Cinemassacre, and get 10% off. Uh, no, I never even heard of Jerusalem Syndrome. Sorry. Here's your, your oh tapes. Oh, well, it's about time. These are pretty late now. Well, I mean, there are a lot of them. And did you at least rewind them this time? Of course. I always <sighs> rewind my tapes. Oh, come on. You never, you, you know what? You're in big trouble. In Little China! In Little China? Oh, I'm late. Hmm. Fuck. Big Trouble in Little China. I don't know what to say about this movie. Every time I see it, I'm just speechless. I don't know. What, what, is, what is your guys' reaction to this? I love this movie, by the way. I absolutely love it. But I am so just thoroughly distracted from trying to figure out any plot because it's just it keeps throwing stuff at you and it just keeps on going. And I, I don't even have a chance to think about anything. And by the end of it, I'm just like... Just numb. Like, what the know. hell is that? I think it's clear cut. I think mm. so too. It's, mm, it's, yeah. about, it's about a man's search for his truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a he hero's just, journey. Is he just is. wants his truck. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. along the way, he runs into a wizard warrior who lost his physical form in a battle with a former emperor. Mm -hmm. He now has to marry a girl with green eyes and also sacrifice her to the emperor and a god to get his physical form back. He lucks out because he finds two girls with green eyes. And then Jack has to ruin his uh, plan to become physical and also ruin his sex trade and his mm -hmm. uh, legitimate trading business and kill his magical warriors. Like, what's, what's, why yeah, can't you so follow that? Right. I mean, here we go. I'm, <laughs> In I'm black taking and notes on all that. I'm writing, I'm writing the fucking air right now. Uh, along the way, she runs into a journalist and a lawyer and a mm -hmm. businessman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's definitely not. Who all introduce themselves by full name, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, don't worry, it's only me, Gracie Law. Gracie Law. She's walking into a room full of people she knows, but it's like, no, you gotta really, you gotta really. Big <laughs> Shen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely not boring. Um, yeah. Not at all. There's, a, yeah. there's some amazing actors in it that deliver, I would say, B-movie quality <laughs> dialogue, but it all works. Because like, yeah. last yeah. night I was like, oh, it's not that great. And you like went off on I, me. I, oh my uh, god. Like, I, I was like, it's so okay. Sincere. You know, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm not too into the dialogue. you guys know this. All right. I, I'm like getting ready to go to sleep. I go to the bathroom. <laughs> And Justin's like, I'll have to finish this later. It's awful. And I like stop what I'm doing. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, you're so <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, how do you fucking live? How do you live? I, 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 will, I will say, like, it like, sounds like a really it pleasant was scary. house. Yeah. It was actually scary. I was afraid Tony was going to, to strike it. You things something. get me angry. <laughs> this is one of them. Well, the, the thing is, the movie does take a little while to start. And it starts with, with Egg um, talking to another lawyer. About Deep Throat it, from X-Files. Deep yeah. Throat from X-Files. Uh, and then it does like a, it's like a flashback movie, and I'm like, why do they even need that part in the film at all? The actor who played Egg Shen, yeah. Yeah. he thought he saw the movie and he said to John Carpenter that he didn't feel like you know Jack was you know should be portrayed more as a like a heroic role. Right. Think, so he actually wrote that scene. 
and they shot it and they actually kept it in the movie oh, kind of thing. But it was just like, you leave Jack Burton alone. Like, right. he's a hero. <laughs> he's, yeah. You know, yeah. It's he like, like, kind of makes it funnier because he's really like, he's not, not a hero. He's, he's like, not a hero no, at all. He's not at all, he's, yeah. He's, he's, he does almost nothing yeah. of consequence if until anything, the very anything, end. He's just protecting Wang. He's like, yeah, Jack Burton's great. Yeah. 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 Don't question Wang at all. Which, by the way, Kurt Russell's amazing in this movie. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. I'm John Wayne. Look, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, Why does he do a John Wayne all the time? Because he already did a uh, Clint Eastwood impression in John Carpenter's yeah, previous Snake movie. Plissken, yeah. And he also did an Elvis impression in John Carpenter's Elvis. Uh, yeah. so, so, so he's always going down the list. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, well. Like, like, like I thought the whole John Wayne thing, because you were saying that it was supposed to be a Western at first, they were thinking They about wanted that. to do it as a Western, but I don't think the studio wanted it. Plus, you would have had to do the whole, like, all the Chinese people were there to build a railroad, and that wouldn't have been as glamorous. <laughs> like a little, uh... Well, it, was the, it, aged... well, it was the 80s. I mean, yeah. it might not have mm-hmm. aged well. But... Yeah. It seemed <laughs> but, like a very 80s thing to do like in gremlins where it's like chinatown's hiding a secret yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's so know. ridiculous yeah, the, like the mysteries place. of the orient you know like <laughs> of that course kind of all thing. these yeah. magical temples and everything yeah. is going to be underneath chinatown mm-hmm. la <laughs> no, no, like, no, san francisco, san francisco. San Fran, okay. yeah it's like it's just the most ludicrous <laughs> idea of uh, well, isn't it it's pretty much jack burton is just hanging out with his buddy wang yeah mm-hmm. wang and, the money, and, yeah. and wang's like dude look drive me to the airport for a minute i'll give you your money in a minute and then all of a sudden <laughs> just scooped up into a mystical adventure. Yeah, yeah. It's it just so happens. funny. Like the, it's wor- wrong place. Well, it's wrong a fish time, out of water but... tale. Also. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the, the way he responds to everything that's happening, like like <laughs> monsters and all these things that are going on. It's like he just acts like he's inconvenienced by the whole thing. Yeah, you know, yeah and just kind of like, completely confused. It's like yeah, when they're doing the sewer scene, yeah, and that monster yeah. comes yeah. out and like egg shit, oh, throws a crystal and it scariest, explodes. That was the scariest scene when I was a kid. It was very like the fly. I didn't expect a monster to come out and grab it, and they're like, yeah, he's gone. Egg Shane like throws yeah. a thing and he goes, It will come out no more. And Jack Burton goes, What? What will come out no more? Like he just doesn't know what the hell is going on the whole time. Is that the only guy that dies? But magic too? is there? Yeah. No, on this whole no thing. he's the only guy that dies of like from the, their the group. Yellow. But it's like, yeah. man, that sucks. Like you got killed. You didn't even yeah. get to the right. battle. You died. Well, lots of those ye- the yellow, y- the yellow, yellow gang. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. they do die. I do yeah, want to talk yeah. about how um, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Th- this movie, I, I always, it's so, yeah, it's so loaded <laughs> that I always forget everything in it. And I feel like when I watched this a year ago, that snake scene where the snake comes yeah. out, each guy, I'm like, did th- did someone replace? My- Is that a new scene? Like I'm like, have <laughs> yeah. I seen this? I, I I'm have a surprised theory. by the eyeball monster every time. Yeah. I, I always forget that oh, it's in yeah. there. Yeah, 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 that's, that's gorgeous. Right. That's gorgeous. It is. Yeah. I have a theory that John Carpenter adds scenes, and then he goes to my house and he replaces my it's DVD. So cool. Tiptoes in. And I feel like if I watch the movie, yeah, yeah. and I feel if I watch the movie again, Carlos is going to be like, "Man, Tony watches this movie a lot." And we like, "What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. What, did they just add it? It's, <laughs> it's such a good film because there's like. Uh, you know, someone growing up in the 80s and 90s, there's so many video game type things in there. And, and there was a Big Trouble in Little China Commodore 64 game. I, and it looks love, like I love garbage. audio cassette games. Yeah, just, I think like, yeah. 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 You, you play as uh, Egg Shen, uh, Wang, or Jack Burton. None of the characters look like they do in the movie. Oh, yeah, for yeah. 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 I've seen video I've seen of, oh, okay. of it also. Here's your audio cassette video game tape. Yeah, the audio cassette. I'd, I'd love to listen to it and see if there's anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just probably the tape deck in it. John Carpenter talking my, to you. My, <laughs> it, it also really... Don't forget to switch the tapes on Tony. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I want to I hear like a motivational um, audio tape by uh, Kurt Russell <laughs> with more of that like the ending speech he the does. Little, the oh. words of wisdom like the beginning. Like, an end. Yeah, yeah, you know like, what old Jack Burton would say at a time like yeah, this. Exactly. And then you have to reply, who's Jack Burton? And yeah. who's Jack Burton? <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look that storm right in the eye and say, give me all you got because I could take, take it. I just love how disappointed he gets every time someone says, who? Ah, you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? Who? Jack Burton. Me. Really Whenever right I like, play like video games like online or whatever, like World of Warcraft or Halo or something like that, and I'd be like, oh, you know, you know what Jack Burton would say at a time like this, and you always get at least one person going, who the fuck's Jack Burton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm sitting there going, Jack Burton. Yeah. Me. <laughs> My favorite thing about Kurt Russell is this this movie kind of plays on the the hero with the ethnic sidekick, like a uh, Lone Ranger. Yes, or Green uh, Hornet. Gr- Green Hornet, yeah. Yeah, where it's like, wow, the sidekick actually does a lot of the work. Does and this movie, all of the work. Yeah, this yeah. movie, like, 
Jack Burton, that big battle at the end, he gets all excited. He, he, he knocks himself through. out. Yeah, he's knocked out for yeah. most yeah, of that. Yeah, he's like, 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 buried like, under that guy. Like, I, I think so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he splashes just, the water in his face. Like, oh, yeah. oh god. <laughs> he, he does some heroic stuff, but Wang is just kicking all kinds <laughs> yeah. of ass. Well, because he's he's playing that archetype of like classic yeah. like yeah. Western hero samurai mm-hmm. kind of thing. Rides into town and stuff. He's like, no, he gets buried under a dude in an armored suit with a knife in his chest and his feet. Up like in also, a fetal position. Like, like everything yeah. he's in, every situation is way over his head. Yeah, yes. like no. he's just in for he's, in town for a couple days, and yeah. no, he's, 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 just, he's just passing yeah, he's through, saving, like, helping save no, the, the poster the world. and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. They make him like look like yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> woo. And uh, he's the master of faking it till you make it. Totally. Yeah. Uh, especially with, at the one part where he kills a guy, and it's clearly it's the first person, yeah. and he feels like conflicted. Yeah, you and then see, Wang's yeah. like, "Have you ever killed a guy before?" And he's like, <laughs> yeah, "Of course sure. I have." <laughs> it's, it's one of the only VHS boxes that explains like they go into how the sets were built and how like ninety oh. percent were on sound stages, and <laughs> we turned the whole city upside down. And oh, and the like we had this guy who worked with Bruce Lee, and it's like they're really trying to amp up that it's like a, a very s- serious film. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, this is this is I, honestly, I love John Carpenter. Like, love all yeah. this stuff. This is probably my favorite John Carpenter one. Well, I mean, it, it, for it, me, it's like yeah. it's, to, it's like it's candy. To, like, you know, to yeah. me, it, it's very the it's the second best movie in the Kurt Russell John Carpenter multiverse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With the thing being number one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, I think well, the thing is a Elvis? superior movie. Elvis. Elvis is great. Really? John Carpenter, Kurt Russell's Elvis. Has no, no I've seen, seen that. I've it's, never. It's I've heard of it. It's so good. Is it better than the thing? All right, maybe not the thing. Is it better than Big Trouble? Maybe not. Then it doesn't matter. It's better than Escape from L.A. Well, that's not hard. I think the thing is a superior John Carpenter movie. Yeah. But like, I I just love this one more. Oh, it's definitely yeah a lot different. uh, Which is yeah, he's a very versatile director. Yeah. 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 he never made the same movie twice. Well, except uh, maybe the last movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except yeah. that, yeah. yeah. One of my favorite actors, Al Leong, is in it. No. Um, and you've seen him die in Die Hard. Last um, action. Last, last action exactly. hero gets hit with the ice cream cone. Mm-hmm. He's like, you, just look up Al Leong's like death reel on YouTube. He died like <laughs> six thousand times in movies in the eighties. And, and also 90s. look up uh, Gerald Okamura. He's who in was that also too. in Samurai Cop. Oh, which yeah. I know, Big Trouble in China is great, but Samurai Cop is up Let there. Let you know, and then there's all the monsters that come out of nowhere and all this weird stuff. And then they have the big, like, hulking one that you see at the very end, like the, like, is it over or is it? Like, oh, after yeah, they show the, yeah, the monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, like, the eight monster. The, 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 the weird half promise sequel one, yeah. that we never got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the Harry and the Hendersons guy. Yeah, like, exactly. It's it, Harry. It, it, it looks like, like, it looks like it's going to be their friend for a second because, yeah. like, it doesn't hurt him and then it kind of does. Mm-hmm. And, like, but anyway, I want to see the sequel where it's them on a road trip movie. <laughs> is Harry and the Hendersons a, a slight sequel? Like, maybe he fell off oh, and then John Lithgow hits him with the car and then he just lives with them for a while I was seeing this any which way but loose or whatever you know it's like it's an Asian you know monster yeah. thing yeah, yeah I will say um, there's a comic book uh, sequel to Big Trouble and I mm. think there's actually a comic book crossover, crossover where Jack Burton meets Snake Plissken and I want to really? read that so uh, bad yeah, yeah. Right. I really want to read that but <laughs> so if you had a movie with um Bruce Campbell and Kurt Russell, and um, Bruce Campbell playing Ash from Evil Dead, and uh, uh, you know uh, Kurt Russell playing Jack Burton. Uh, Who would be more of a dick in that movie? Like, uh, <laughs> oh, they would they'd probably hate each other. Yeah. Yeah. I think the universe would implode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I feel like Kurt Russell might be more of a dick because Ash is definitely more successful at being a badass. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, Kurt, yeah. like Jack Burton is a badass, but not yeah, really. he, he's yeah. a little more mm-hmm. uh, slapsticky. Like, even yeah. like usually slapstick things happen. To Ash, mm-hmm. not like like you know he doesn't like things just don't fall on his head. He's like, oops. It's yeah. usually like awful little monsters and like yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like I also don't see Jack Burton having like a chainsaw hand or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, he just walked around with this like some machine gun the whole yeah, movie, which yeah. you know he couldn't fire at first. It had the yeah. safety on. <laughs> oh, the I fucking lo- lawyer guy had to tell him the safety. Was I, I, I love the 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 like like when they all have their weapons. Yeah. Like, it's like this Three Stooges esque. Like yeah. who gets which weapon? Yeah. Yeah. They keep on trading. Like, I'll, I'll trade okay, it, fine. Then. I'll take that. Oh, we were talking about it earlier, but uh, uh, Raiden. Um, yes. Was, uh, 
he it's done better than in the Mortal Kombat movie. I yeah. think we were talking about. Yeah. 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 You know, I would much rather the Mortal Kombat be like a, like a like a super fish out of water, like yeah. you know, like even like Johnny Cage or someone in it. Yeah. And they just go into this world and they're like, "What the hell?" And is everyone going else on? already knows what the hell's going on. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And to be clear, this explained. was before the Mortal Kombat, before Mortal Kombat. Well, yeah. Yeah. And this it was the inspiration. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. The um, Shang Tsung. Yeah. 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 But yeah. isn't I mean, our Raiden also like an like an ancient god or something? Or yeah, but I think like the visual look and whatnot was more. Yeah, of course. They basically said the guys who made Mortal Kombat would watch this and like uh, Enter the Dragon a lot. Yeah, so that's yeah. pretty much like. What oh they no, it's a perfect combination of those all those yeah. tropes. Oh, it definitely and is. Like, shout out right there. <laughs> nice <laughs> there. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Midway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so so you know you really wanted to pick this film because we're like you know we're like yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Macaulay's coming on the the thing like what do you want to watch oh, fucking Home Alone or something? and you're like no we're watching <laughs> no, I've seen Big it. Trouble yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. You lived it. So. Yeah, I lived it. I, I was there. <laughs> Which I thought was really cool that you were like, no, nah, Big Trouble in Little I was like, you know, that's... Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, that's That awesome. would have been a movie yeah, we did that. anyway. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we get requests constantly for it. Too, yeah. yeah. And it's just like, all right. <laughs> it's right, yeah, it's right in your guys' wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, if you guys hadn't uh, already done it, uh, I would have said Starship Troopers. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That, yeah. Have, yeah. that was, that was a good one. Yeah, uh, that, was a, that was a fun time. Is anyone excited for the kind of sequel they're making? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a mm. sequel or something set in the same universe yeah. or whatever. I'm I'm holding my breath. I don't. Uh, think, I, think, uh, I think we're starting to experience a little rock fatigue. I think yeah. right now. <laughs> Although I mean, rock fatigue. Like, yeah. he somehow, no one wanted the sequel to Jumanji, and he somehow made that a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. yeah. Mm. Well, wait, the rock's supposed to be in the Starship Troopers. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, Big Trouble. Big Trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, well, he's the Jack for a little bit. It's also I been guess. developing for like, well, like that's six, six, seven years. The rock is probably the only reason it'll get made because I've said before on an episode, John Carpenter. I saw him at an interview after a screening of Big Trouble. Via Skype. They didn't mention it was via Skype. I was kind of disappointed about that. Mm -hmm. But we asked him if there was going to be a sequel. I was like, that movie didn't make money. No one's making a sequel yeah, yeah. of that, unless mm -hmm. The Rock's attached. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh. Well, so, yeah, apparently he's given the blessing kind of thing. Uh, if he gets a paycheck, and, he does not give and a the, shit. And the, <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's riding off into the sunset. Don't you speak yeah. ill of The Rock? No, no, I'm talking oh, about John, John Carpenter. Carpenter. Oh, okay. Because yeah. people right. talk he's, about... He's riding off into the sunset. Yeah, Carpenter. Yeah. People always say, but, what about these movies they're ruining? He's like, ah, I get paid. I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. I already did them. He apparently hated the Rob Zombie. Zombie uh, remake of Halloween. Yeah, but yeah. he loved the paycheck he got for it. Yeah, exactly. yeah that, it's a very um, Harrison Ford thing to do. Just give me the goddamn right. check. Right. Right. Kill me off. Or just give me the check. Give me the check. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, like, uh, The Rock is a big, big fan of it. Yeah. So I think he will treat it mm. preciously in right. some way. And I think it's like, who, you know. if he's sitting there saying, like, no, we're going to do it this way, it's like, you know, some guy going to be like, look, Rock, I, no. Yeah, no, no, no Rock. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to like, yeah. throw you. I'll Wait. throw you somewhere. Yeah, like, the, 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 my, my my main issue is I hope they don't make it too good. Like, <laughs> it, it needs to still have that charm and that like weird like, yeah, But yeah, it's, yeah. it's a rock. I think he's so aware of himself mm. and like he's he's basically this big dude. He knows that he goes into these movies. He's not, you know, I mean, he's not a bad actor. Yeah. But well, you know, he plays the rock. Yeah, I think he's yeah, gonna I mean, he's like, yeah, keep he's, it the right way, like I'll, keep it the right temperature. I'll be of. fun. I'll be fine with a father son road trip. That way, Kurt Russell can still be because Kurt Russell's still great. He's still acting. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, so it's Kurt dad. Russell and the Rock, and it's a uh, how great would it be? That would be great. I heard if the Rock's Jack son, Burton. huger, bigger, and is also <laughs> as much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's him and Kim Cattrall's son. Yeah. Okay. Neither of them. We're Samoan, Jack but they're Burton. somehow Samoan son. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Jack Burton rides back into San Francisco. Hasn't been there since the, like since yeah. the original. <laughs> and then we're going back. Uh, I'm your son. And then then <laughs> wait, 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 then, wait, wait, then, wait, wait, then wait, James Brown starts like, oh, I feel good. Like, I, yeah. I, I even better, hope better. the producers are listening because we're giving them gold. Wait, wait, right right even now. better, even better. The Rock is that hairy monster just shaved. Oh, oh, no. just, so just, Russell just you know shaved. what? That's the only thing they could do that would make it in tone with the original. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because that's something that kind of would happen. Yeah, yeah. Just, hey, just I no shaved thought. that monster. And it looks just like the rock. <laughs> that'd, be, oh that'd be funny. So, so he, t he he gets the monster. He raises it as his own son. They shave it. He they start giving it like I don't know, like better minerals, and it becomes the rock. Yeah. And now it's bigger trouble in littler time. Oh my gosh. Bigger, bigger trouble. trouble. If they called it that, it'd be mm -hmm. hilarious. <laughs> um, because there's only one. The, the only thing they could do is is do ludicrous stuff like that to mm -hmm. to keep it like in in the same vibe. Yeah, yeah. Or it's got to just be a completely different thing. And it seems like it's a name only. 
Uh, I think it's going to be a very different film. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't have any prediction of whether well, it's going to be. I mean, good I, I or think not, it, it, I think they want to have it take place in the same universe, so mm -hmm. it's not a direct sequel kind yeah. of thing. I but like you know, there's still like yeah. tr the craziness afoot mm -hmm. yeah, in yeah. San Francisco, yeah. and then you get another fish out of water character uh, who's just passing through, oh, okay. and then gets caught up in it's you know a similar ish mm -hmm. esque. You know, like I can see that, like pulling that off. Yeah. Yeah. Just, as long as you get good characters, you don't have Kurt Russell. If, mm -hmm. like, he's not at least just in it at some point. Yeah, maybe he's I'm the new Open. Yeah, that would actually, yeah, right? <laughs> all he's I want to say <laughs> is, Hollywood, if you're listening, can we all be on a tour bus in the new movie just taking pictures? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if the Egg Food tour bus is still Yeah, I want to be on the Egg Food tour bus. That's <laughs> egg Shed. Egg, yeah. egg Shed. Egg Shed. Egg, egg Food was a DC Comics character. Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, no, maybe that's what Jack Burton <laughs> traded in the truck. and now That would be a great way to get him in the new one. Like, he takes over the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, oh man. Him and Gracie Law. No, they're just going to reboot Law. it. It's going to be bad. Well, so. well getting back to mm. this, cur the current uh, Big Trouble all the time. Yes, this yes. was uh, Carpenter's last studio film in the 80s, I think. Mm -hmm. And then he went right back to uh, independent film. That's where he got Prince of Darkness. Then They Live. Oh, yeah. Okay. But uh, oh. he, like, John Carpenter yeah. kind of got screwed by the studio system. They didn't really promote his movies well enough. Mm -hmm. They released it. This came out a few you weeks know before what? Aliens. Yeah, because yeah, I did yeah. not see this as a kid. I didn't yeah. even hear about it. I didn't hear about this movie till like later, and I was like, "Oh, it's probably just I don't know. It, it's some martial arts movie with Kurt Russell in it." It, like, was, always, like, it was always and cable then, uh, and basic yeah. cable for me. Look at yeah. that. Uh huh. I, I watched it on cable. I watched yeah. it when I was a kid, but it was years after it came yeah. out. I was I was ten mm -hmm. or no, I, I, I was, was like weaned on this. Yeah, I, I suckled at its teat. Yeah, I was in my twenties when I saw it for the first time. And at this point, I seen just about everything, and I just didn't think there was nothing was gonna like blow my mind in that same kind of way, and it did. So it was like, imagine if I saw it as a kid. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> right down your alley, I yeah. thought, yeah, this is the kind of thing that's in your wheelhouse. You I know? didn't expect it, it to be that crazy. Mm -hmm. And like, as soon as they were doing like flips and they're shooting lasers at the eyes, the guy's head's exploding, <laughs> and then there's yeah. monsters. I was just like, what the hell is this? I, th I didn't think it was even going to be supernatural. I thought it was just going to be a yeah. straight up like action, yeah. like a grounded. Kung Fu yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As a kid, too, visually, this movie's the shit because yeah. you, know, oh, yeah. oh, you God. don't have to yeah. pay attention to the plot at all. Oh, no. No, oh, I never did. You're gonna yeah. get monsters, <laughs> yeah, kung fu, yeah. magical. I shit. love, I love like, at the end yeah. where they're playing they, like they're oh, the playing yeah. video yeah. game. Yeah. Like, play it like a video <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Their, their magic is like yeah, yeah, wait, oh. yeah. Their lightning like combines and then it's a silhouette of yeah, like, like, warriors like, fighting. Like, that scene, that scene is amazing because it's like. Even if they win, like what happens? Like the other guy, yeah. Goes, ah, like, it reminds it. me of like your Schwartz <laughs> is bigger than mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised, like how much they put in this because this movie was uh, kind of rushed in production. And so to dense. beat to beat the yeah. Golden Child, which was coming out yeah. later on. And Carpenter was like pissed. He's like, man, there's two mystical Chinese. I got to beat this one to the mm -hmm. punch. So they rushed it out. They're like, we got to beat him. We got to beat. Him. Yeah, gotta gotta beat that Golden and Child. The Golden Child is fine, it's but fine. Golden Child it's, is nowhere yeah, near as good as that. No, no, I agree. I mean, it's a good movie, but. I, how many people talk about this? How many people talk about Golden Child? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's the funny. Yeah, no one know? talks about Golden Child. Yeah. I guess we are talking technically. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but it's, but it's, it's only, it's only, of, it's only in comparison. Yeah. To, I don't even think Eddie uh, Murphy talks about Golden Child. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's <laughs> funny how much about, um, of his movies. Um, Big Trouble links, like how John Carpenter and Kurt Russell, like the style works so well. Like in college, I edited this thing. It was like Escape from New Jersey. And I took the <laughs> two Escape movies. I took the thing and I took this and just put it together as if like Snake Plissken has to escape from like monsters and stuff mm -hmm. and all the shots all the monsters like oh and, and other people who've never seen the movies were like wait is this one movie like at all because like all his design and everything like I'm not sure if the production design went yeah he's across. stylistically very very kind of consistent yeah. I mean also like yeah I mean it seems like he's a creature habit always hiring like, Kurt Russell and, yeah. and I think he, he's he's his De Niro too you know, yeah, yeah. Kurt yeah. Russell is yeah. always down to do a, a, a John Carpenter movie oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I feel like yeah. he was yeah. like John yeah, yeah. let's do it I don't like, even do I don't this. even tell him what the idea is. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll wait till day one. La la la. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Dean Cundy's cinematography, so you get the nice big wide screen yeah. shots. Yeah. And oh, stuff. it's super wide screen. It's like, super I, wide I watched screen. it um, yet, like in a hotel last night when Tony berated me. 
<laughs> I, I was watching it on my phone, and it's so widescreen, it's just like womp. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when it punches in, it there's like you know they don't do a really good job with like the pan and scan, I guess. Like yeah. you lose so much because yeah. he uses the whole frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta watch this on widescreen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's visually dense. I mean, like the, mm -hmm. the set design, mm -hmm. like you know the costumes, everything. It's very yeah. very distinct. Like it yeah. Sticks, yeah. sticks to your ribs, kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I actually I just got the uh, the tank top, the Jack Burton tank top. Oh, I want to get those. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I pretty, pretty proud of that one. Yeah, but I want that yeah. tank top. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's great. funny that the thought must have gone through all our heads because I'm watching the movie. Like, yeah, I should get that. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted it when I was a kid. So like, yeah, I was like, yeah. like, and I was like, wait a second. Yeah, I'm an adult now. You, you, you never <laughs> I know. Can, I can do anything I want. <laughs> I've always wondered too about that tank top. Is like, was that just some shirt they found, and then some company was like, we need to design that, like just. Yeah, I no, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Right like, yeah, it's like they, like you can buy a Bayside Tigers like shirt. That's yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah so right. Like, yeah, yeah. Because it's like that shirt must have been something they just like threw on, and it became such an iconic yeah, yeah, shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in Death Proof. Uh, the when they're in the bar when they meet Carl uh, Russell yeah. in the background, they oh, have his oh, shirt. Nice. Okay. He's, he's so awesome, awesome in that movie he's too. So yeah, 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 he's yeah. so fucking great. Yeah, you know, everyone like looks like kind of the same. So like, so like all the visuals and when it comes to the costumes and stuff like that, it's like yeah, it's you're not seeing. Jack Burton in five different costumes. Yeah. Well, yeah. kind of. That's Jack Burton. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. with his uh, his Clark Kent scene where he's undercover. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There, the is, there is that change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really rainy cats and dogs out there. Yeah. <laughs> I want a girl with green eyes. So <laughs> Fresh off the boat. Right. That's how I. Like that's how I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the one lady, I like, guess the madame of the place, is like green eyes. Huh? I'll go find her. No, 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 no. It was a like, green eyes that like, Asian girls do not go. Come with green eyes, yeah. and then kind of like eyes them suspiciously. You know? Yeah. yeah well, so true. Right. Yeah. Like, I wish these pictures were why in color. Did, you know? Why did they send him in? He's like the worst. Like she knows right away he's full of shit. Well, yeah. She's like, yeah, all no, right. That's what I mean. They all kind right. of like are pushing like this guy to well, be they, uh, like yeah. a hero, they and he's like, a white like guy he's like, okay, also, because, you know, yeah. I guess they need but... a white nerdy guy to go into this because <laughs> yeah, yeah. who goes into these places? But... <laughs> the whole climax of the movie, he's got the he kisses Gracie Law, <laughs> yeah. and just he has this narrow strip of like a red <laughs> lipstick on it, and the whole time I'm thinking, I want to wipe that off. Like, yeah, you look. Ridiculous. Yeah. You know, at the same time, it's like he looks ridiculous. Yeah. It's great. I don't think I was able to notice that with everything else. Oh, right. <laughs> I know. Like, he fights the main bad guy with lipstick. Yeah, with lipstick. Yeah. 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 So and then yeah. she wipes it off like right and after that. Yeah, yeah. Speech <laughs> and everything. Like you know what old Jack Bird so, says at a time like this. Well, Jack he, yeah. Yeah. So this is like a, it's a continuity thing where they kept it there. Yeah, they kept the, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, it's like for like ten minutes of the movie, he's got smeared lipstick on it. Like yeah, he kills Low Pan while kills the main bad. Yeah. Guy yeah. with and then she oh, you know what? With it, the it attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's also kind of weird at the end because you see uh, Kim Cattrall, Gracie Law, has like a spear, like he, she's gonna kill him. Yeah. yeah. But then he just ends up throwing the knife, like you said, he caught the beer and then throws yeah. it back at him. But then there's still two bad guys they have to kill. Yeah. It's like they killed the main bad guy and then there's more they have to get. And, yeah. and they both, one blows up because he's well, sad. He turns and the other into one, a, no, no, he turns into a cabbage patch first. Oh, yeah. And, then, yeah. and the other guy has like a, a statue fall on him. Like, it, they, they die so anti climate but I guess it's it's more so real. That's kind of what the idea is. Also, yeah. is that like yeah, it's like it, it's it's there's sometimes like a series of errors yeah. kind of going yeah. on. Like yeah, it's like Jack Burton. He keeps on tripping and falling <laughs> yeah. over and over into these like scenarios yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like he didn't have to fight like you know the you know the big dude. He just yeah. blew himself up. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, like what a goddamn hero. I think I think my favorite scene is the super patriotic scene before they go out and fight oh. when they're all drinking. Yeah. Okay to the army and navy and the battles they have won as to America's colors the colors are never run we no. no. liberty never lose a feather never lose <laughs> yeah, a yeah, never yeah. Lose yeah. yeah he turned into like a midwestern yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes you watch these movies, then you talk about them, and you're like, okay, you, you, you don't feel like looking at that movie anymore. You, you know, you, you're you're burned out on it. You talked enough yeah. about it. This one, I want to see it again. I want to watch yeah. it. Yeah. I want to watch it tonight. Just put it on right now. It's one of those movies, if it's on TV, I'll sit and watch it. I don't yeah. give a shit. I will, like, drop what I'm it's doing. It's not boring at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, no. and because it doesn't go like, oh, now we got to go to bed and wake up and wait. Even, like, like movies like Demolition Man or, you know, whatever, it, it's like... It's like daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. And this one, it just goes, yeah. goes. It's like, all right, we're back from beating the bed. Like, you know, we're back it's from like saving the girls. We gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's actually it's like just... very efficient storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. In the fact that story you're perpet <laughs> perpetual motion. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> Evil Dead 2. That's another movie that's not boring. That's and true. Yeah. 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 Every, every scene. Yeah. Every scene yeah. is something. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Mo this is the most balls to the wall action film mm -hmm. he's made. Yep. Well, they see hire like actual martial artists and stuff. This mm -hmm. is great. This shows. is great yeah. action. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I just love like they 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 laid out actually really simply like in things like that where it's like oh like the bad guys are in red, the good guys are in yellow. Yeah, like, yeah. I think he even says like oh those are the bad guys. Like Wang <laughs> actually he's like, he's like oh no, no, it's the Wing Chun like oh they're yeah, they're okay they're, they're good guys. I, I, like, I, I like how they lay it out pretty simply. Yeah, he's right. just like oh they're just, they're in the way of my truck. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, you know, oh, I'm trying I to just, drive through Chinatown. All of a sudden, there's this big martial art. That's town. what I mean. He, he takes one wrong turn, and there's an alley with like, like like ninjas with guns and like, yeah. you know, just and like butcher knives, yeah. like yeah. like yeah. a straight up block. Knife. And then all of a sudden, like then like then like magic storms yeah. show up, the and then, uh, then a wizard, a hologram wizard. Yeah. Like you know, it's just like what? Yeah. He made one wrong turn. No, 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 no. Okay, so when the truck that the, the Holland ass truck hits Lo Pan, it actually hits him. You see him go. Yeah, it's not like it's invisible. He actually, yeah, he's, yeah. Like, yeah. he's, <laughs> he's corporeal. Does he comment on it later too. He says something like, "He was an illusion." That, yeah. that, like, his seven, yeah. his seven foot, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wizard, oh, he's yeah. confused yeah. which Lopan is which, not realizing the same. Yeah. Yeah. I love that old guy makeup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it looks great. It still looks great. Indeed, when, like, old, indeed, indeed. I like James Bond. He's in probably one of the most famous Seinfeld episodes where all suck at the Chinese restaurant. He does in Wayne's World too. He's the father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. just hope they don't fuck it up now. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey well, Hollywood, you know don't fuck I, this up. You, you, you can't fuck it up because no matter what, that we always not, have this. Yeah, I mean, it's who like, knows? It's it, unfuckable. It's unfuck upable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the new one might be fun. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm only if, same only if we're tourists on a tour bus. That's yes. the only yeah. way I'll yeah. 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 Listen, the, the Rock can make it funny. And like, make yeah. it yeah. Yeah, no, of it yeah. so we can have it here somewhere. If yeah. they fuck it up, they're in big trouble. Oh. Little China. We should make that movie, us fighting them for ruining the movie. <laughs> this was my go-to hangover movie in college. Mm -hmm. if, I was, if I woke up hungover, I'm like, I gotta put Big Trouble Little China. Because yeah, that's how I feel. I'm like, what's going on? What yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were there wizards last night? What the heck? Did I hit someone with my truck? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The whole movie feels truck. like a hangover. <laughs> Uh, 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 I love when he's on the phone with his insurance company. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you about you know, my, my, my truck. I don't want to hear act to God. You know, the whole time they're talking about like these gods, these Chinese guys. He gets on the phone like, I don't, I don't want to hear act to God. All right. Yeah. What were you gonna say? Uh, I just want to say thanks for coming out, man. I'm a oh, huge fan of work. Igby goes down. Scott Pilgrim, you were great in thanks, that, man. and uh, I really love that. I really love oh, that cool, movie, cool. Yeah. Did Did you like uh, Signs? Yeah, you were great in that too. Thanks, yeah, thanks, yeah. Thanks, yeah. yeah you cool. looked a lot younger than you were at the time you filmed it. I was actually kind of that was a special effects. Uh, right? Fine wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A fine wine that's put in the freezer. Oh, thanks right. for having me, fellas. Yeah, yeah. totally. So thanks for watching Big Trouble in Little China for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we watched it for ourselves. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. I didn't even need to rewatch it. I know the movie. No, me, me neither. <laughs> yeah, like, I've seen it. Like I, I've seen it. I don't know how many times I've seen this mm. movie. But um, we yeah. we, we, we got a porn section if you want to check it out. Oh yeah, movies for mom and dad over there. Yeah. Right, right in the back mm -hmm. there. Let's go. No, no, it's cool. Actually, yeah. Why don't you guys join me? Let's hold hands. Let's hold cocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for checking out Cinemassacre Rental Reviews. Take a look at our other videos, and if you want to get some sweet Cinemassacre merchandise, head on over to store.screenwavemedia.com.